What's up everyone? This is the Wild Report here in the Uaris with the Philmont crew on our third prep hike. This is user Roger Malone. I'm better than all of you, BT Dubs. You don't post enough. Alright, that was Roger Malone. And if you checked out my website, you've seen all those awesome scuba posts. You have a website? I do have a website. Ooh. Yeah. So we're just here on the Uaris trying to find our campsite and I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so challenge one is probably going to be crossing this really flooded creek. And I don't know how well you could tell it from first person, but if you look at this video that I shot of Adam trying to cross it, it was quite difficult, especially with a 50-pound pack throwing off your balance. All right, so we've reached our campsite. Here we are. Hiked about I mean, we can for life, two, but two to three miles in. Very short hike, but here at the campsite, about to get set up. That was awesome caterpillar down here. I'm not really sure if I want to touch it. it looks like it might be poisonous, but it's pretty awesome. Hi. Right there. There's. We're trying to put up this bear bag, to preserve our food, but it's uh, working. We're not very. We we're not very skilled at this yet. Ben, we did it. Okay. We did it. <laughs> we did it. High fives. Well, All right, so we got our campfire going, courtesy of yeah, Noah, our fire builder. Let's have a little heat. You bring a lot less. So we are up. Yeah, just taking down the camp. About to go on the main stretch of our hiking adventure today. Basically, we're just gonna go as far as we can and stop. So yeah. As we can see, all these little ants have hatched. These are all the queens coming out from under this rock with their wings, and they're gonna fly, make their own colonies, lay eggs. They turn ants, or it's pretty cool to see. I think they're just ants. Top of this mountain, just hiked up this beautiful hill. I'm sure, everyone is feeling great. We've hiked about two or three miles so far. <laughs> It seemed like a lot longer going up this hill, but we just a nice little meadow place on top of this mountain. Take a rest, and I'll get back to you if we ever see a view. Also, if you look at the trees, you notice that all of them are shorter than they are at lower elevations. That's because they have less carbon dioxide up here at this higher atmosphere. So everything's gonna be a little smaller. But also on these rocks, there's lots of lichens, and there's even some little cactus. Right in there, cacti, cacti. cacti. Excuse me, that's my that's my grammar. But uh, it's cool to see all this different plant life growing at this higher altitude. We just got to this trail. It's marked off, and it appears there was a large gulf forest fire over there. There's an off-roading trail right there. It's a trench. you still walk on it? So. This is really awesome. Huge amount of forest just got burnt. It looks. Oh no, we can totally still keep It's pretty cool. You can still smell the ash in the air. They're looking all this. Yeah. I don't know how recent this was. Probably within the last year. Yeah. Not the last calendar year. Yeah, yeah. The last. 365 days. It's really cool. Well, this is the point of the hike where everyone's tired. We just sit and we want to die. Yeah, because we're tired. Can you bring me Chris? There's sure no I'm water. I would go. If somebody has dying. time travel. This is where we begin to make deals with God, somebody and Roger makes deals with minor deities to get us somebody out of here. Somebody has time travel. Can you please come back and give us a donut right about now? Now, if any of you see this video, then bring us donuts in the future. In the time future. Travel back in time. Yeah. We're, so, we're bring us donuts. Snake. So we were just hiking in this little creek. Well, it's kind of dead. Adorable baby water snake. Were you there when we found Northern it? water snake, it's not venomous at all. 
its coloration is actually to mock the water market since the predators leave it alone. But it is completely harmless. It's a cool find. Alright, so we have about eight miles left till we're done. Our campsite's like four miles away. Apparently the people that made this trek want us to die. Is we have to cross this highway. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Granted, we are in the mountains, but yeah. All right, guys, buddies, just crossing the road. Yeah, really. Wow, civilization looks like there's a car. This is like a real thing, a real car. I uh, know, don't hurt the hands, but job. Look, we lived. We're alive. See, these clouds are going to turn into a storm that's going to happen tomorrow, which is why we're trying to cover as much ground today as we can. Alright, so here we are taking a water break. It's a little river area, more of a creek, but... All this interesting vegetation. I don't really know what kinds of plants these are, but they seem to be everywhere that the creeks are. If any of you know, please comment. But... How many miles do we have on the campsite, guys? Okay. Like, I think you said two. Two. So we have two or three miles left on the campsite, but get back to you guys when we get there. So here's stage three of depression while hiking. We all sit around taking shots of hot sauce, trying to stay awake. Apparently it helps. I think I'm going to pass, honestly. I don't I don't really enjoy hot sauce too much. This is why it's generally avoidable to hike twelve miles in one day. I think they're delirious. I think they are. I think dehydration and exhaustion have finally they're a little delirious. Um you guys know where we are. No one really knows where we are. We don't really know who we are. Just kinda, we're just kind of, we're just kind of walking on this trail. Oh my God! I forgot it was <laughs> stage three. All right, so we finally arrived in camp. Getting everyone's scent set up. Everyone is in such a good mood after this hike. Zero so random interview. Hey Noah, how was the hike? Horrible. Great. Robert. Robert's asleep, basically. Wake up. Mm. How was the hike, Robert? Mm. Yeah, put my yeah. In there. so the hike was great. But it's all okay because we're in this campsite. Whoa. Have this nice little river ah. over here beside us. So yeah. Get back to you when we're cooking dinner. Alright, so here's dinner starting and it sounds like a train. What kind of stove is this? stove is that? The Primus Omni Fuel. Primus Omni Fuel. So tonight we're having freeze dried chili mac with beef. This thing's pretty, pretty good. Mountain House. Yeah. Hope this turns out good. I'll show you the finished product. Here's the contents of the bag. It doesn't look too good. Once you get the water in there, it's quite appetizing, especially after we've hiked like 15 miles today. <laughs> yeah, before and after is going to look a lot different, and, and freeze-dried meals, they're pretty good. Yeah. So I'll show you what happens after it's cooked. Oh, yeah, I'm video. Almighty chef cooking our meal. If it's bad, don't look at me. It's pretty good. It does look pretty good. Not right now, in a few minutes. Alright, so now the rain That's started. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Weathermen are real good about telling us a long time. This is just a preview. This is a preview. So it's going to be a really fun morning getting packed up and hiking in the rain. Unless it goes away. in the morning, camp is broken down, 
about to start the last stretch of the journey. It's about six more miles, but after that we have to park out the cars in civilization. So we are ready to go. Alright, so now we're like one, maybe two miles away from the parking lot. We're all super excited to be hiking at nine o'clock in the morning after Sorry. after going 12 miles yesterday. Not really sure what you're seeing through this camera because I'm kind of tired. But if we ever make what it to the parking lot, they're seeing So if we ever make it to the parking lot, I'll tell you. And if we don't, then you can come visit our graves in the area sometimes. Yeah. That was that was pretty discouraging. So we just uh, really found out we were wrong. This is the parking lot. <laughs> we were wrong. We're this so much horrible. farther back. Uh, let me see. Let me see. We're so much farther back. We are like oh. two. There's like a huge mountain in our see. way. We're two to three miles away from the parking lot. And there's a massive mountain in our way. And we're all sad, and we all want to kill ourselves and die. This is where our cars were supposed to be. <laughs> we thought it was two miles. Two miles so, sounds like 14. we're all going to sit here and move. We're going to die. Yeah, I vote Mr. Zeno, oh. my dad. This is so bad. Oh miles, if we die, if we die, Gosh. visit our graves. We can do it. No, we can't. Yes, we can. <laughs> Parking lot is empty. Too. We are actually moving quickly for once. This is one of the happiest moments we've ever experienced in our short lives so far. Victory. Victory over the argument. This is not a happy moment. Post your notes. Post them. Okay. So we found the cars. Everyone's still alive for the most part. Adults, how are you doing? The adults are still alive, that's good. But, yeah, we made it. We made it. Alright, what are everyone's there, final thoughts? What is everyone's Thank final thoughts on this hike? Adam, what? what are your final thoughts on the hike? Running. It was long. It was long. Hard. Hard. But fun. Fun. Noah? Yes. Running down the hill at the end. That's right. the best part. Alright, Adam, final thoughts? Uh, it was not very great. Not very great. Roger, final thoughts. Being leader was way less bumpy than I thought it would be, but I need to do more squats at home. All right. Final thoughts. Uh, crossing the streams. Okay. Uh, probably not. Final thoughts. Um, well, that, that would help. Great trekking. Great trekking. Robert, how are you doing? Final thoughts. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> All right, there you have it. I don't have signal here, Adam. Guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment what you thought. That was a 26-mile hike through the Uori Mountains. And they have a weird name. They got that name, actually, from Native Americans. But that was a great hike. It was a prep hike for Philmont, which is, if you didn't know, it's a 12-day-long backpacking trip in New Mexico. And that's going to be really interesting. So that was second to last prep hike for New Mexico. Super excited for that Fomont trip. And our next trip hike is going to be Mount Mitchell. And we're going to make another video for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this one. Comment, like, subscribe for more. And the Wild Report signing out.